Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Loey. So I have some pretty substantial haul videos coming at you soon um, with beauty and fashion and everything in between. I just realized I spend a lot of money and why not talk about it? That's a terrible, terrible way to justify hauls. A lot of the spring and summer beauty and fashion stuff is my absolute, absolute favorite. So I had a bunch of hauls coming up and I realized that I also had all of this outfit footage just sitting on a memory card waiting to be put into a video. So these were primarily outfits that I wore for BeautyCon in April, but I also had filmed an outfit just kind of bopping around and doing errands and stuff. So I feel like there was kind of a cool mix of just like my everyday style and then some more street style fashion outfit things. Can you tell I'm a little bit rusty with this? I really enjoyed my last lookbook being done more as of a like lookbook slash haul hybrid where I wore the outfits in my day to day but also talked you through them and where all of the pieces were um, from in kind of like a real time sort of setting instead of like voicing it over if that makes any sense. It feels so much less um, stuffy and formal and like I'm trying to present you with an artsy lookbook when in reality I literally just have someone film my day-to-day -day outfits um, when I wear them like there's no professionalism in that regard I just like showing you guys what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis so that's what I'm gonna be doing today and yeah if you want to know some spring summer fit ideas from yours truly then stay tuned so let's start off with i think what's like my most casual look in this but is still pretty dressed up and this was a look that i wore the top half for meetings like um skype meetings stuff like that but i was also wearing this outfit out to dinner and since we don't have an actual sponsor for today's video i thought that I could be my own sponsor and remind you of my brand, Love Anybody, at Target stores all over the nation right now and also available on Target.com. It will be linked down below. What is Love Anybody, you may ask? It is a body positive lifestyle range that I worked so very hard on for like a year. It was the best, craziest year of my life and I've been talking about it a lot here on my channel, but if you have not already picked yours up, I will link it down below. So anyways, so I was going to dinner with a friend after my meetings and after my work for the day. So I wanted to be dressed up, but not too dressed up, you feel? So I wound up wearing this striped button down. It's a white and blue striped button down. So classic, so cute. Tied just kind of there at the waist to give myself a really like nice, um, more hourglass shape, which I love in my outfits. That is from American Eagle. And I thought it was like really comfortable and really, really cute, especially for that affordable price tag. Underneath, I am just wearing this lace black bodysuit from Fashion Nova. You know, it's my go-to. I'm wearing wearing black jeans from Boohoo and can I take a second here and just ramble about these jeans for like just a little bit. Jeans are so hard to find and these were like the most comfortable soft thin jegging style material while also being like more structured jeans like they really held you in. They were perfect. They are perfect. They are still with us, thank God. But I'm already wearing through them because I wear them 24 seven. I swear to God, anytime I have to leave my house and look presentable, that is what I'm wearing are those jeans. They're so comfy, but boohoo stops carrying them. So I'm really freaking sad about it. Anyways, so I'm wearing those. And then just my go-to standard black heels from Torrid. Heels are hard for me. I have wide feet. Um, and then also my arch really doesn't like a super high heel. So something with a blocky heel that's also wide is really important for me and then my bag is this bright pink clutch that I have from YSL that was gifted to me at a YSL party uh, about a year ago which is still so crazy to me so day one of BeautyCon New York City I knew the look I wanted to achieve I wanted to be pastel and springy while still being really fashion forward um, and I wanted something that was stand out for BeautyCon while also not being over the top so I kind of mixed and matched some price points here my dress is from Boohoo it's really the base of this outfit it is this beautiful beautiful light purple color it's almost like a soft lilac-y purple 
and it's in this it, they call it a kimono dress on the boohoo website um but basically it like ties in at the waist there but it's not an all-around tie so it's not like a belt tie if that makes any sense it's just attached there at the waist so you don't have to worry about it sliding around or adjusting it through the day it just stays perfectly in place and it also has like a really cool tulip hem which was a little bit obnoxious moving around a lot but for a day like beauty con when a lot of it was just press and posing for photos and meeting with brands and stuff like that it was pretty good because i wasn't moving a ton so i didn't have to readjust it all the time as my day went on and i was doing more things like going to the glossier store which i posted a haul for you guys from more things like that it started getting pretty annoying but i do really really like the dress my shoes are from torrid and they are these really cute um kind of like ankle booties they looked very mod with the dress i was gonna just wear those same black heels from the last look but to be frank with you those get a little bit uncomfortable after a full day of walking and i wanted to not be grouchy to be quick on my feet etc so um i wound up wearing those and they were really really cute i thought they looked cute with the dress and then my purse was a bit of a higher price tag this was a big splurge item for me um, and I almost did an unboxing here on YouTube I bought it on stock X which is like kind of a luxury resale website and it is this purse from Louis Vuitton and it was not cheap but it is such a cool statement bag and I love it so much could I have just brought in my other bag sure I don't think you need like a different bag for every outfit but I do have a lot of fun mixing and matching things for various outfits it literally is a Van Gogh painting so I thought that it was so beautiful with this dress and the overall vibe was just so classy in my next two outfits I'm carrying the same bag so I'm not going to touch on it again just know it's the same Louis Vuitton bag but let's jump into my second day of beauty con now I wore two outfits this day the first one was another really pretty fun pastel bright springy vibe I wore this to brunch with two of my friends and then to beauty con and then I changed at beauty con which is ridiculous but I wanted to I was shooting as many photos as I could that day so this was kind of like I guess what you consider my daytime look it is this really cute purple top it has like snap buttons on the sleeve there and it is from Eloquii and I thought it was such a pretty color very similar to my last dress just a bit more bright and a bit more purple and then my skirt is a really old one from Torrid I think it's like a year and a half two years old now it's in that gorgeous sky blue with that lace overlay and it has so much tool and so much body to it and it's a really cool length um, whereas a lot of the times I wear very short stuff and a lot of people give me crap for it because they're like does your hoo-ha come out um, we'll talk about that in a minute but this was very long and modest and really really cute and then I just wore the black heels with it I kind of wish I had had nude heels but then I also liked the fact that the black heels just sort of close things off if that makes any sense sometimes I feel like nude heels the outfit will feel incomplete if it's not the right look I don't even know if that makes any sense is that weird maybe it's weird but that was the outfit last but not least is this outfit and I wore this um, at the end of beauty con and going into dinner with my manager and some of my friends this skirt is so cute it's so cute it's literally the cutest little red plaid skirt I wanted it to be such a New York moment such a vibe I thought it was so freaking cute when I bought it online on boohoo uh, but it is short and it was so windy and it caught me so off guard how windy it was and I found myself consistently wishing I had just brought leggings so if I could go back in time I would layer something underneath like tights or leggings or something like that or I would have just bought a longer skirt but what can you do and I have the outfit to show you so that is the skirt which kind of gets like half of a thumbs up for me it's like one of these makes any sense it's like not like there but it's like there but it's also not a thumbs down I don't know what's wrong with me my t-shirt is also from boohoo I've worn this so many times I love just like kind of classic rocker looking tees clearly this is not like a rock band tee it's just like a look-alike or a mimic of one um, but I like the flowers on it a lot and I love all of the writing and the text and everything I thought it looked really cute with the skirt too that jacket is one of my absolute go-to pieces it's from city chic and it is a black um, like faux leather jacket with rose gold hardware and because I wear so much rose gold I love that in a jacket but it has not held up well at all like the lining on the inside started ripping which is like so obnoxious it like started ripping right in the center too like the seams just slowly started like 
coming apart because I was wearing it constantly and just after a few washes it wasn't holding up well anymore. Um, I still wear it all the time. I don't care but like it's so good and I wish it had held up better. Um, same purse and I am just wearing these little black booties from Tord and I like that stiletto heel. I feel like it really sets them apart from a lot of the other boots that I own. And that is my completed little mini lookbook that I have for you guys slash my outfits of the day slash spring outfit ideas. I don't know what I call this video but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm definitely gonna be doing more fashion videos. Like I said, I feel so inspired for fashion again I love the warmer weather um, I love festival season I love just like the vibe that's out right now and I've been having so much more fun with my outfits so hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next one bye